Hi guys, I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul and in order to keep this video short, I'm going to go ahead and get started. As you can see, this is basically going to be all the Christmas items that I purchased throughout the week. And the first thing that I got were these washi tapes and this is a striped um, one. It's really pretty. And then the next one I got was the snowflakes. And then I got this one, which says Holly Jolly. Christmas I believe and this is really pretty and the other one that I got were these gingerbread men and um, they had quite a few of them but I already have so much washi tape that I didn't want to buy too many so these were the ones that I gravitated to the next thing that I got were these zip snack bags and this one is really cute and I plan on putting Christmas candy in these and putting um, these and my grandkids and my boys um, Christmas stocking and these come in 40 and the snowflakes also are really pretty and then I got these bigger ones for the older kids for my um, daughter-in-laws and um, for my three older boys and I'm not sure if I'm gonna give them candy or put like some type of cookie or um, brownies or something besides candy because the three older ones don't really eat candy too much um, so I thought that these would be really good and once again I apologize for the glare I am filming at night and the boys are asleep the next thing that I want to talk about so I can move it off the table is this plastic dish bowl here and it's really pretty and I got it because it's really wide and this is going to be in the center of this coffee table and I went to Walmart today to pick up these candies and these come in a big container I'm trying to pick it up right now without getting too close and they come in this box and it's a Bob's um, sweet stripes and it comes with 200 individually wrapped um, mints and they smell so good and they taste really nice and the peppermint is not strong and I believe I paid $5.97 for this container so that's what I got today and I'm gonna go ahead and move it off the table so it's not in the way the next thing that I purchased Christmas item were these self adhesive gift tags and you want to make sure that you look at the count up here because there were quite a few in the same um, end cap um, and they look quite similar in the front but the other ones only came in 54 so when you pick these up just make sure that you look at that first and these are so pretty and I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to use all of them but if not um, I'll probably give them to Benjamin and Matthew and they can put them in their sticker book. So then I also picked up these gift bags. And there's this snowman. And another snowman. And these are so pretty. I tried looking for some of these at Walmart, but at my local Walmart they didn't have quite a bit. Um, their selection was very small. And they aren't three cents cheaper, but I mean, I thought these were prettier. And this one is... Um, it kind of pops up a little bit not too much but I thought that this was cute and then I got this one and it's glittery on one side of the bag but the other side of the bag it's not um, but this one was really pretty and I'm gonna move those out of the way as well and then I got these larger bags and these are really pretty and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap the presents and then put them in the bag for the older um, kids and then I got this one too and I still need to go back and get some more but I really didn't have enough time today to go through the whole section of them but I'm trying to get most of my Christmas stuff out of the way because we're not gonna be here during Thanksgiving and I don't want to come back and have to rush um, but I also got these window stickers and these are so pretty and if you haven't seen them at your local Dollar Tree um, I hope you 
get to see them in person because they're really pretty and they pop up. And what I plan on doing with these is um, I never did get a chance to do my Halloween tour of how I decorated our house. But one of the things that I did do with the wing window clings uh, for Halloween is that I wrapped them around these containers that you get at the Dollar Tree. And I put them on there. As many as I could fit on there and then I put a candle on the inside and lit it up and when you turn off the lights in the house or you dim them it looks really pretty so what I'm planning on doing with these here is at the Dollar Tree they have these vases and I guess these are new because I hadn't seen them before um, but I picked up two of these and what I plan on doing is just like how I did the Halloween ones is sticking them on here and then lighting a candle and I think they'll be really pretty and if you have Instagram and you want to follow me um, it's the same name as my YouTube channel loving life I don't have that many pictures up because I just started doing Instagram but instead of doing a whole nother video I'm just gonna um, go ahead and do that and then take a picture and you can see what it looks like but that's what I got. I got two of those. And I went ahead and picked up these duct tapes. Not that I needed them for any particular reason. Um, but they were so pretty. And, you know, you can decorate boxes, you know, for friend mail or for giveaways and stuff. But I thought they were really pretty. And you get, you know, a fairly good amount for a dollar. And I know the boys will love to play with this, you know wrapping presents or whatnot or make-believe presents or you know for their dad and brothers and stuff but that's what I got for, and I'm pretty sure everybody has seen these and hauled them but our local Dollar Trees I think we're the like the last ones in the United States to get stuff so this is all the duct tapes that I got today and I'm trying to move this along a little bit because I have my granddaughter Olivia this weekend and she is sleeping behind me in her little crib and I'm trying to not be so loud um, I went ahead and picked up this facial tissue and I looked on Amazon for these um, before but they sell them in 21 boxes I believe and they average around three dollars and 33 cents or 32 cents a box so I thought this was a really good find. I don't know how well the tissues work, but I got it specifically for him because the boys love this character. The next thing that I got was this gingerbread soy um, candle from Luminous, and it smells really nice. And I'm not a real big fan of scented candles because um, I don't think they really, you know, the fragrance only lasts a little bit and you don't really smell it after a while but everybody was hauling this and they were saying that these are really good and they burn clean so that's the reason why I got these the next thing that I got was this light um, we have a lot of um, Christmas houses you know for the little village and stuff and we didn't buy them new we bought them um, in like a lot sale but a lot of them didn't have these lights and so I was really surprised that the Dollar Tree had them so I only picked up one only because I can't remember how many I need and I don't want to buy any unnecessary ones and I just wanted to see how well it worked so I got that and then I got this cute little sign and Matthew actually picked this out because he really liked it and um, they had two other ones that were really cute the other one that I wanted to get it had the male and female elf and then the third one had a male elf but he really wanted this one so we got this one and there's nothing in the back it's like a like a board type thing and I think we're gonna hang this in the kitchen somewhere I'm not really sure where I also got these um, treat bags and I need to do a um, not a DIY but a um, craft a Dollar Tree, tree craft um, video uh, basically you know I buy things from the Dollar Tree and I make them into something and I'm not really sure what that would be called but 
I got these, and I love this one. This one says no peeking. And this one's the little peppermints, and this is the gingerbread man. And there's 12 in a, in a package, and I thought they were really cute. And what I'm going to do with these are um, my little paper bag mini albums. The next thing that I got, and I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to hang this up because it's double-sided. But the reason why I got it, and once again, I apologize for that glare, is because on this side it says, Who needs Santa when you have Grandma? And I just love this. It's so cute. And it's a little, it's glittery. Well, it looks glittery, but it's not. It's just how it's printed. And then the other side it says, I ate Santa's cookies. And, um, you know, I have the little hole punch, the big shot hole punch. And I'm probably going to poke a hole here and poke a hole there and then hang it up in the lights um, in my kitchen. Um, but that's what I got. It's really cute. I wish it wasn't double-sided just so that I could stick it on the wall. But I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. And I will take a picture of that when I figure out how I hang it up on my Instagram um, page. And so you guys can see. The one thing that I'm so excited about that I found are these large pop-up gift bags. And they're over two feet tall and as you can see these are so cute and like I said I'm gonna wrap the present and then stick it in here and just these are just so cute by themselves but I got this one this one's the snowman and here's the Santa Claus one and I thought these were such a great deal because if you buy these anywhere else I'm sure they would cost like almost I don't know five dollars at that so I thought this was a great deal and I wish they had a third one because I wanted to use one for Matthew and Benjamin and then have one for Jaden. But these were the only two designs that they had. So, I don't know. I'll have to figure something out. The next thing that I got, which I thought was really cute. And I, I know they have these at the Dollar Tree all the time. But I never paid attention to it. And I thought it was really cute and um, very Christmassy. Because it's a star. And I picked up these Andes because my husband loves Andes. And I do too. I just don't love them like he does but I picked up this small bag and I think there was 11 pieces in here and this is a three ounce bag but as you can see um, he pretty much ate the majority of them so what I did was when I went to go pick up those peppermints from Walmart I found these and these are also in but this is the um, Christmas What's it that says festive holiday designs on here and I don't want to take it out because of the glare but they have designs on the chocolate and this one has um, here, here we go I don't know if you can see that it has a candy cane um, I think that is a ribbon and a snowman and a Christmas tree so I thought this was really cute and I cannot remember how much I paid for this but I thought it was a great deal. It was a lot better than buying, you know, a whole bunch of these small bags. Um, so I'm just going to put these and fill it up here and put it next to my husband's chair here in the living room. And so that's what I got. And I believe these were two something or three something. I can't remember. And then I picked this up also for my husband and it's plastic. And this dish over here, the one that I had the peppermints in, that one's also plastic and the reason why I like that it's plastic is just in case you know the grandkids grab it or pull it that you know it's not gonna break and shatter everywhere but these are really nice and they had two other designs of these and the reason why I like this so much let me move it over here is it's really hard to open the lid so what that means is the grandkids can't you know or the boys can't come over here and pop it open. You see, I can't even do it with one hand. But um, I thought this was really cute. Um, because he really wanted those... Um, I can't remember what kind of candy he wanted. But they're not individually wrapped. So I wanted to get something that I could put in here. Um, that wouldn't be easy for the kids to open. So I thought this was really cute. And it's plastic. The next thing I got for no apparent reason but other than it's cute is this little tin box and I love tin boxes so that's why I got this one and um, they had other designs I think it was like three or four other designs but this was the one that I liked 
the most. So I got this one and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. But that's what I got. And the last thing that I got, and I'm gonna bring this closer, and the reason why I have it in this bin is because they're very glittery and sparkly. And I'm trying to get this so the shadow is not in the way. But I got this one and I thought it was so pretty. This one here. And I'm not sure where I'm going to hang it on. And I'm not putting it on the Christmas tree, but I'm going to hang it somewhere. But I do need to fix this one here because the little bead here is popped up where the glue didn't stick. Um, so make sure you check your ornaments before you purchase them. And then my husband picked this one out because he thought it was really cute. For some reason, this reminds me of some kind of spaceship because <laughs> of these little circles here. But I thought that was really pretty. And then I picked these up, and I thought these were really pretty too. The only thing I don't like about um, these is the glitter. Um, I like the way it looks, but I don't know if you can see in this bin, there's glitter everywhere. That's why I put it on here because I didn't want to get it all over the table. But that's what I got for Christmas decorations so far. Um, yeah, that's it. But I can't wait to do this project and put a picture on Instagram for you guys to see. Um, but that's it. I have a whole bunch of other stuff that I need to uh, do a video on. I just didn't want this video to be too long because it takes forever to download. Um, but that's it, guys. You guys have a good night, and I will see you soon. Bye.